Brothers and sisters, what's going on? Brother Hate Rule Wars. The deepest, darkest part of technology is within us. <sighs> As we talked about the black sun, we gotta understand that the black sun is literally an organic technology that is within the atmosphere of this realm. And this is why you see so many ancient statues. Sorry about that. You see so many ancient statues with the uh, ancient ancient statues of the symbol, what you call the swastika. Okay? And that's because that was letting us know that the black sun is what charges up the solar plexus area. All right, our ancestors used some of the most powerful um, devices ever known. And these devices were designed to hold and create and expel extremely powerful levels of energy. Energy that is coveted and unknown by mankind. All right, so the entire scope of what we're saying here is that in order for us to gain the true freedom as the original beings without being, being tied down by this system. We gotta go to war. I'm not talking about sitting up in meditation. And, yeah, you can astral project. You can astro, astral project. You can do a lot of astral projection. We're talking about preparing for war. We're talking about creating weaponry of a high spiritual value. Things that we had in the olden days. This is what we're going. We're going to back into go into sorcery, witchcraft, wizardry, dark energy, manipulating it. Understand the things that we have. These Saxon beings have the idea. They have this idea that if they hold the ancient relics or the ancient uh, uh, weapons that we have in the old, I have this thing. If they hold it from us, then we won't have access to it. The black sun is the source of knowledge for us. And I'm gaining all this information through my meditation. Tapping into the black sun as I did last night. And as I'm doing this morning. And afternoon. And all I have to do is think on this powerful essence. This powerful celestial body. This black sun. And you will find that... There is an enormous amount of information that comes. We're focused on what we can see, and, but what we cannot see. All right, so people say you gotta look through infrared. You gotta look through this, look for that. Our ancestors did have infrared. Do you don't think they had this technology as his new brothers and systems? What these Saxon beings are doing is extremely old, and we can create these different things at home. It might not have to be something big and grand. I want to create a huge pyramid because that's in my uh, uh, de deoxy etheric alkali. That's a part of my DEA to create pyramids the huge pyramids i grabbed two pieces of wood and i was thinking of what to do with them and that was the anunnaki part of me and i need to build more the entire scope of it is that we can create these things within our homes i know some of you live in apartment complexes apartment is only a partial home we literally, as the original beings, have to, to prepare ourselves to destroy the system. No one's going to come and destroy it. We're waiting on the sun, the moon, the eclipse of the sun and the moon. It's designed to charge up our souls and our bodies and take us to a whole other level of energy and power and knowledge and intelligence. That's what, that's what these 
celestial bodies are here for. We're waiting so many. I'm waiting on the sun. I'm waiting on the moon. No. Wait on yourself. Focus on yourself. Take yourself into that next level of knowledge. Take yourself into that next level of power because you are the only answer to all the problems. <laughs> oh, God. You're the answer. You're the answer to the problems. You're the answer to all of this. It's up to you, my brothers. It's up to you, my sisters, to take this to the next level. You understand that. You got to take it to the next level. We have a whole enemy who is fighting against us. One thing I saw the other day, I was in my state of meditation. I was like, well, let me see what these Saxons are doing up there. And these beings literally have are having sessions all right they're having sessions where where they're focusing on trying to shorten our memories they they're there they have their own th beings that you call wizards and the warlocks and all and they're trying to focus on shortening our memories which is it's useless it's fruitless but i'm watching them and i'm like wow these motherfuckers are actually doing chance to shorten our memories i'm listening to them i'm listening to everything that they're saying because our memories are coming raw. Our memories are expanding and they don't know what to do. So they're trying to do some of the ancient things that we did. But they're trying to use the energy that we uh, used a long time ago. They're trying to use it against us. Understand that. So it's important and extremely important that you understand how your enemy is operating. But yes... We as the original beings must begin to prepare. And this is something we must be talking about for a long time. We must prepare. We have to create physical weapons. We talk about charging up our bodies. This should be a daily charge. Sun daily Tai Chi and Sun Tai Chi and meditation and sun gazing. Daily chants, ya ya ya, lu shi la no la la shi ya la 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 shi, mu la shi nu mu la shi na. And your chants are designed to increase your uh, spiritual energy because the stronger your spirit and your soul is, the stronger your body becomes. They showed you Darth Vader on the, 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 the movie Star Wars, but they didn't show you the things that had to be done <coughs> in order. They showed you Yoda. And what was Yoda? Yoda was some place in some some isolated some place where they show Yoda because he was running. But still, they showed Yoda in that place where curiosity ran wild. How do I do this? How do I do that? I need to know this. I need to know that. This is when you begin to tap into that unseen energy, the black of the black sun, which is our source of power. We're going to do some, do, do a video later, real on. We'll show you some of the ancient relics of the black sun. And they're showing that this is our source of power. Understand that, brothers and sisters. If you can hear these frequencies in the background, these are sun frequencies. I've been listening listen to the sun today. The, the sun's giving out frequencies. These frequencies are extremely powerful frequencies. Frequency of the sun. See, the, the, the lower the frequency, the more powerful the energy. All right. And that's that ohm. And that's what that sun is doing, that constant ohm. But you got the black sun, which is the constant ohm. And you got, got three different black suns, and each one of them are made of different gases. One is hydrogen, 
One is nitrogen, and and I mean one is argon. I believe so. One is hydrogen. One is nitrogen. One is argon. All right, but the black sun suns that that uh that charge up the sun and the moon are hydrogen. This is why the sun turns red. But we'll know. We'll know what's gonna happen because the sun turned black that means that that's probably gonna be that black sun the nitrogen the nitrogen black sun that's gonna turn the sun black because the sun is all plasma just like the moon is all plasma and when you have hydrogen next to the moon I told you the plasma causes the hydrogen to turn red but this uh this uh this uh solar eclipse i'm gonna do some studies too the solar eclipse with the black sun i'm gonna do a video on it and show you guys the eclipse for y'all that can't look at it that's gonna be a different gas that's gonna be a completely different gas brothers and sisters so in order for us to be into that extremely powerful extreme energy we're gonna have to uh the physical things like oh we yeah, had the rods and the staffs of power oh oh we had the golden rod the copper rod oh and i tried using the uh, copper pipe in a dream but there's something about the copper pipe in my dream it was not right because it's hollow on the inside the only thing that would actually charge up the copper pipe the right way if you had a copper pipe you put a cap on it and you put uh magnets on the inside of it and this those magnets are going to be inside those magnets are going to charge up the inside of that copper all right because copper does have a magnetic field and i'm going to test that i'm going to test that and see how it happens how it goes with that but we got to create the physical weaponry in order to cause in order for us to fight against the system just like we said we gotta create ships big ships little ships dynamic things i'm ready to get a car frame i'm i'm ready to get a car frame i just need an empty car frame with nothing in it so i can start working on a ship right here and i need brothers and sisters who are interested in who knows brothers and sisters and i'm gonna go on a blog i'm gonna do a go on a pennsylvania blog and see if i can get some brothers and sisters to join in but just want to share that with you all okay so y'all let's get busy we'll get, talk about this a little later much power to you all